Yo, what's up? It's me, Doc, SampleKings.com. And of course, we got something new. Actually, there's a new update for the MPC Public Beta 3.4.0. The update is a firmware update. That's important for you to get your firmware update done. Now, the reason why this is important is because it'll fix the bugs. It'll fix problems that happen that are just random sometimes. Like you may be doing something one time it works, next time it doesn't work, right? There's a bug that I've seen that happens with the stem program where you're using it and sometimes the stems, if you take two different takes on the same stem, it'll be different sounding or something. I have no idea what's up with that. There's a problem that also happens when they're dealing with the taking the tracks and making them all into separate tracks and exporting those tracks. Well, they made a brand new system now where just export the tracks automatically, but both systems still exist within the system. So they're probably trying to fix that up as well. You'll see stuff also with a, like there's a metronome in there, right? But you don't see the light for the metronome. So all these firmware problems have got to be solved. And the only way to do this is to improve the firmware and for you to start to use it. So it's really important for you to get that firmware and update your MPC if you're using 3.4.0. It's very important. Now, not just that, but there's also security problems you may have, like the ability to go online and see what you just bought and is it inside the box for activation, you know? Can I go to preferences, go to that one page for activation, and can I see what I just bought or is it there, will it download, or does it say it's a trial and I bought it? So there are some problems you've been talking about, and I think this firmware update is going to solve a lot of problems for everyone. So it's important for you to get these firmware updates on your MPC and make sure it works properly. You'll need the updates also to actually work with this idea of using the MPC in controller mode, because they may be coming out with the software soon, so that way there'll be a controller mode software for the MPC of course, it'll be the new MPC 3.0, or in this case, 3.4 or 5 maybe at that point. But they are improving the system, and they've got some new stuff coming out, which I talked about in my last video, where they've got this new plugin coming out. So they have to get this firmware updated. They need to make sure it works properly, because that happens in about, let's see, today's the seventh. In about 22 more days, there will be a special update also with the new um, plugin they're putting together. So this should be interesting with the Kai and see what they're gonna do. But for sure, get the firmware update, install it, and get busy. Find out what problems you have or you don't have anymore. It's important. Let's get up. I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. We have a new update. And it's 3.0, so this is a firmware update for 3.0 or 3.4.0 for the version of the 3.0. So let's go update. Update now. Shut down. Okay, it's updating the firmware. It's downloading it. So all I did was actually turn my machine on, my MPC one, and then that update message came up. So if you're still using 3.4.0, it's recommended to update the firmware. Verifying. A couple of blinks there. Updating. So this will get the firmware, the internal firmware to work properly. with the software. Now once this is done, we should be good to go. Okay, it's done. So now it's gonna relaunch. Now once this happens, you wanna make sure you're good to go. Welcome to MPC. Let's go back again. Press this next. Then we go, yeah, sure, why not? Let's go. So I'm on with the software. You're running the pre-release beta build of MPC. To enable audio, log on to your iMusic profile 
and activate your beta license. If you do not have a beta license, please contact a car professional. Please do not distribute this software without permission. Got it. So we're here, we're gonna go back to here. Of course, there's a new product in, but I'm gonna go here first. Go to actual programming preferences. And I'm gonna go to update online. Good. You're running the latest version. Always check. So do it now. Get it done if you are using 3.4.0.